Hi, I'm Nick and welcome to my channel Le Gentil Canada. Usually I'm on here sharing my thrift finds with you, but today I'm doing something different. I'm going to review a Trudon candle. The scent is Spiritus Sancti. So I bought this Trudon candle because I had quit smoking and I was like, you know what? Instead of putting garbage in my lungs, I want to buy something really nice to balance all that out. <laughs> So it took me a year to actually buy it, and I bought it off of Essence during Black Friday. So it usually retailed $160, and I believe I got it for $130. So why Trudon, and why is it so expensive? So Trudon is said to be the oldest candle-making company in the world. Established in 1643 in France, Trudon was the official candle makers under the reign of Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette. They're the ones who made all the candles for the Palais de Versailles. The cost of a Trudon candle reflects the quality of three elements. The hand-blown vessel that the candles poured into, the quality of the soy wax, and also the quality of the perfumes used. This is the size of the 9.5 ounce candle. So when you receive your Spiritus Sancti candle, what you get is this beautiful robin's egg blue box. You get your candle. You get this little uh, wick protector here that comes on top. And you get your little pamphlet. So inside the little pamphlet, there's this beautiful little poem that explains the, um, the scent of the candle. Flickers of crimson, gold, and olibanum recall the heady perfume of altar candles and the luxurious wake of censers and perfume burners brimming with amber. Under the nave of a cathedral, a jubilant chorus and the holy scents rise into to meet with heavenly souls. This candle's all about the reflection of the scents in cathedrals in France in the 17th century. It's definitely the romance of this candle that got me intrigued by it. I bought from Essence, like I was saying, and it came from Montreal to Ontario. When the candle got to me, it was quite banged up, I have to say, for a $150 candle. First off, the packaging I don't think is meant as a packaging for shipping these candles across provinces in Canada. There was quite a bit of wax everywhere, and the sticker on the front of the candle had rubbed inside the box. So things that I learned from buying a Seal Trudon candle. For some reason, I thought this uh, emblem piece was a metal, but it's not. It's just a sticker, a metallic colored sticker. And I also learned that the scent is actually quite strong. So if you're not into actual perfume smelling things, like, you know, think perfume like your, your grandma's, like the, the strength of, your grandma's perfume, it, it has that strength. Mind you, it it has various notes. So when you smell it, it's, it's a very intense smell. There's a lot of spice. It's very woodsy. There's a lot of spice. So to me, this candle smells quite woodsy at first. So the base notes, or I guess the other notes, I'm not sure how that works. So the, the first scent that you smell is like an intense woodsy smell. It's almost resiny. So that amber smell, it's almost like a frankincense. It's like a, a scent that came from a resin. So it, it kind of has like a pine resin, a, Franken's like a woodsy kind of resiny smell and then it kind of ends in these notes of lily of the valley like there's a a very beautiful floral scent that it ends with so it's quite perfumey i i these i can't say for sure i do believe that these scents are synthesized and so if you're someone who can't do synthetic smells, this definitely is not the candle for you. But for people who are into perfumes, uh, this is a, a very nice candle. So now burning. What they tell you to do is to trim your wick to an eighth of an inch. 
So I'm gonna do that and you guys are gonna see me burn this candle for the first time, woo! The lighting instructions for a Trudon candle. So what they say is to trim your wick down to an eighth of an inch. That's quite small. So I would suggest uh, not putting a lighter directly in it. I would say light a toothpick and then gently light the wick around it. We're gonna do that together later though. Then what they recommend is that on your first burn, you at least burn it for three hours. You wanna make sure that all of the wax on the top layer of the candle is burned. You don't wanna burn the candle and then there be a hollow middle. So if you end up with a hollow middle, it's because you didn't burn the wax long enough. Create that pool, that way when that pool of wax dries, you're gonna end up with a flat surface again. They say not to leave the candle near any drafts. And they also say to get yourself something to protect the table that you are burning the candle on. So I found this and I thought it would be a great receptacle to hold the handle. To cold, to cold the can, to cold the handle. <laughs> Well, that's it, everybody. Thank you for joining me on my first burn of my very elegant Trudon candle. I hope that you learned something because I know I watched a lot of review videos of this candle and learned something from each person. So main tips to take away, if you're ordering it from online, do expect a little bit of movement in the box. Do expect a heavy scent coming from it right away. Although now that it's burning, it's it's much lighter and I think that that's, that's a good thing. I do expect to really enjoy the candle. So until next time, thank you so much for joining. Bye.